Hey, it's Chris from Paramind 101. One of the uh, videos I keep getting requests for is a uh, uh, video on some simple knots, so that's what we're going to do right now. But I'm not the knot master. I can tie my shoelaces, uh, and I can do it pretty good where they won't come undone. But uh, for the stuff you want to know about, I'm going to let William Myers handle that because, you know, he needs to get his feet wet a little bit more, and, you know, he likes tying knots. You know, he's, he's, he's like a cat. You toss him some string, and he'll just sit in the corner for hours and just play with it and tie knots and stuff. So we're going to let him do right, that. How are we doing today? This is William Myers from Prepared Mind 101. Today we're just going to show you some basic knots. We're going to run a ridge line, show you how to do that. There's some knots to uh, work on your shelter. Some basic, simple stuff. We're going to get some really good uh, shots of it so you'll uh, be able to see exactly step-by-step step through the process. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to start out with a top line hitch, and uh, we're going to show you that, and that's basically how you start out a ridge line, it's a self tightening knot and uh, we're going to go show you that right now. Alright, so I'm going to take my tack and around the tree. I like to run my width, my ridge line about waist high. Alright, so Chris if you can get in here real close, get my hands. What we're first going to do is we're going to take our tag in and we're going to go under the ridge line. Okay, and that puts it over the line. So over the line so if we're going over the line that way, then we're going to want to go under the line this way. Two times. One, two. Very simple knot. Like I said, this is a self-tightening knot. And we can pull on that all day long, and that's just going to get tighter and tighter and tighter. But it's also self-adjusting, and it's easy to get out. So let me show you that knot one more time, and then we'll move on. Okay, again under the ridge line, and this doesn't matter, under or over, I just don't want to confuse you and we do it the same way that I did it before. Under the ridge line, over the ridge line, and then back the same way, under, under, twice, and there you go. Self-tightening taut line hitch. Alright, let's move on. Alright, so we showed you the taut line hitch and that's a way to begin our ridge line. Another way to begin the ridge line is with a bowline knot. So that's very simple. We can just start out with a loop, which would be a bite. And then what we're going to do is go through that loop around our standing end and back through, just like that. And that is a bowline knot. That knot's not going to go anywhere. The Stupid loop. question. Is that the knot that they was, he was trying to teach him in the movie Jaws? Yeah, rabbit goes in the hole, rabbit goes around the tree. And then the shark came out and was like, ready to bite someone in the ass. Yeah, so we can show it that way, actually. So well, we don't have a shark. <laughs> we need a bigger boat. Okay. So uh, it, the same principle would be rabbit comes out of the hole, goes around the tree, goes back into the hole. Very simple bowline knot. And the reason why I said this is another way to start a ridge line is because if you have this already ready to go, all you have to do is loop that around the tree, throw your standing in inside of that, and then get every piece of debris that's standing in the woods. And then that is a self-tightening knot as well. It's not going to go anywhere, and that would be the start of a ridge line. And then we'll go over to the other side of the tree, and we'll show you how to end your ridge line. All right, so we got our ridge line set up on the other side of the tree here. What we're going to finish our ridge line up is uh, something to get this 2x4 tight. So what we're going to do is what's uh, called trucker's hitch. So we're going to go take our standing end around the tree, and then we're going to tighten this up and kind of find a good spot in it right here and we're just going to do a loop around just a loop put a, a uh, bite in and that is also a slip knot a slip type knot so you can get it out really quickly and this is going to be able to pull a ridge line so again just grab a bite and twist it and then pull your working in through and close. And that's something that we're going to be able to, to get some tension on. So let's get our 
tagging around the tree again. Find our tag in. Maybe we should make the uh, line longer. Yeah. It's not long enough. Not enough line here. A little bit of a spaghetti mess here. I like spaghetti. Okay, so if you run our tag in through there, Now we have something that we can put a lot of tension on, like this. We get that ridge line very tight. And what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to grab where our our loop is. And we're just going to throw a bite over. Then we're going to come in through our bite and we're going to grab another loop. And that's what's going to tighten up that knot. And now that's not going anywhere. We can kind of get this bite a little bit smaller. And then we can throw a couple half hitches in here to uh, secure the line up. Just security hitch. And now basically what you've made is something that you can put into a tarp like this, throw a stick in, and then close this down to where that's not going to go anywhere. That, that, that tarp's not going to go anywhere. And then we'll go on to a press it knot, which will be the other side of our tarp. Don't go away. All right, so now what we're going to go to is what's um, affectionately called a necklace knot, but uh, it's also called a fisherman's knot. And what we're going to do is we're going to take just a, a piece of string or paracord <laughs> and we're just going to kind of do a, like a, a, a hitch in one side and then a hitch on the other side and you always want to make sure that your tag end is pointing out when you're doing this knot just like that the reason why it's called a necklace knot is it, it can be adjusting and people use these a lot for necklaces but what it's good for is tying two pieces of rope together and that's not going to go anywhere those knots <coughs> when they slide against each other are actually self tightening themselves so that's not going to go anywhere now what we've made is a basic loop and that's what we're going to use for a presset knot and all that is is laying with the knot to the side laying that over that loop over the rigid line and going three times around and then pulling tight Get that knot out of the way. And then pull it tight, making sure everything stays where it's supposed to be on the outside, not the inside. Now what that press it does is I can move this knot wherever I want to, up and down the ridge line. But when my tarp's on it, it won't go nowhere. It's a self-tightening knot. That won't allow the tarp to go anywhere. <coughs> Excuse me. So what you can do is now the same thing we did with the other side is put this loop through your tarp, the grommet eye on your tarp, put a stick in there. That tarp's not going to go anywhere. And then we can tighten the tarp however we want to. So very, very easy not to do. I'll do it one more time to demonstrate. Lay the loop over, run it around three times. Do this end. One, two, three, and then pull the standing in up and slide. Like I said, make sure everything stays where it's supposed to. Very easy, press it knot. Like I said, that knot's not going to go anywhere by itself. Oh, this one is, it looks like I'm not tight enough. That knot can't go anywhere by itself but I can slide it wherever I want to. All right, well, I'll show you a uh, clove hitch. Don't go anywhere.
Just in case you're getting bored with knots, which you shouldn't be because knots are important, here is a table full of blades. Look at that. Look at all that steel. Alright, so now what we're going to show you is a basic clove hitch. Just a basic knot, good for a million uses. Okay, you're going to take your tag end and you're going to run it around whatever you're using and around again and then just take it through that bite. Basic knot, that is a clove hitch. And that knot, one, it's not going anywhere and that is prepared mine 101. This is just your, your basic knot, one of the first ones I ever learned. You're going to use that for a million and one uses. So there, there's a couple of useful knots to get you started with. We'll uh, probably do some more here later, but we've got a lot of stuff to do today. So thanks for watching. Chris from Prepared Mind 101. That was Will from Prepared Mind 101. Uh, Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Check us out on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash preparedmind101. We'll be back with some more videos later. Thanks, guys.